Hi friends, welcome to the Chickadee Knitting Club. My name is Caitlin and today we're going to learn the knit stitch. In the knitting world, the word stitch has a few different meanings. You could be talking about each individual stitch on the needle, or you could be talking about the method that you knit with those stitches. For example, I have 15 stitches along my needle that I knit with the knit stitch. There are many, many different methods of knitting or stitches out there, but the most basic is the knit stitch, which is what we're going to be learning today. So without further ado, let's learn the knit stitch. Let's get knitting. Before we get started, I want to let you know that everything is timestamped in the description box below. So if you need to go to any specific part of the video, but you're not sure where, that's where you can look and find out. All right, we're going to take our needles and yarn and the stitches that we've just cast on. The needle that has the yarn on it always goes in your left hand. Do you guys remember how to hold the needles? Just like that. Don't be afraid to hold the stitches in your fingers. I like to teach with a little rhyme that goes in through the front door, around the back, through the window, off jumps Jack. And the first step in that rhyme is in through the front door. The way you're going to want to go in through the front door is to find the loop in the first stitch. Going from right to left, front to back, you're going to slide the needle into that loop. I want you to repeat that until you know you have it. Slide it through the loop. Remember you're going right to left, front pointing backwards, like you're poking the stitch. Let's do that a few more times. In through the front door. In through the front door. In through the front door. I want you to practice that as many times as your age. So if you're eight years old, try it eight times, sliding in through the front door. And if you don't think you've got it, try it a few more times. Once you're confident that you can go through the front door, we're going to go to our next step, around the back. Take note which thread is the one that's still attached to the ball of yarn. If you try knitting with this really short tail, you're not gonna go very far. Make sure you're holding the long tail, all right? So you've taken your needle, you've gone in through the front door. You're going to hold the two needles in place with your left hand. And you can kind of see it forms a little bit of an X. That's how I do it. I know some people that it's more comfortable for them to hold it with a little space. It's more comfortable for me to make a little X. You decide what's most comfortable for you. All you have to make sure is that you remember which is the left needle and which is the right needle. Take that long tail. We're gonna go around the back. Just take the thread, go around the back of the right needle. Just wrap it like that. Got in through the front door, around the back. If you want to get technical, you're going in a counterclockwise fashion, which means if this was the hand on a clock, you'd be going from 3 p.m., 2 p.m., 1 p.m., 12 p.m. So you take that, go around the back, and wrap it around the right needle. Once again, I want you to practice that as many times as your age. Just gonna unwrap it and go around the back. Unwrap it, go around the back. To review from the beginning, you go in through the front door and around the back. This next step shows how important it is to keep your hands at the tip of the needle and also to keep your stitches towards the tip of the needle too. Why don't you look at the underside of your stitch? 
You see this kind of square opening right there? That's the window. Our next step is to go through the window. So holding on to both the stitch and the thread, you're going to poke the right needle through the window. Let's try it again. You're going to go through the window. One more time through the window. Practice that as many times as you need. You've gone in through the front door, around the back, through the window. The next one is the easiest of them all, off jumps jack. Where you just take that loop and slide it right off. You're gonna to wanna to give it a little tug, but again, make sure that the stitch is on snugly and yet you still can slide it. And with that, I wanna congratulate you on your very first knitted stitch. Let's do that all the way down the row, okay? Take the right needle and poke, don't mind that tail, and poke in through the front door. Take long tail and go around the back find, oops, excuse me, find that window, poke through the window, and off jumps Jack. Little tug. In through the front door, around the back, through that window, off jumps Jack. I'm gonna push up my stitches. In through the front door, around the back, through the window off jumps Jack. In through the front door, around the back, slide this through the window, off jumps Jack. In through the front door, around the back, slide through the window, off jumps Jack. In through the front door, around the back, through the window, off jumps Jack. Three more stitches. In through the front door, around the back, through the window, off jumps Jack. In through the front door, around the back, all the way through the window, off jumps Jack. In through the front door, around the back, through the window, off jumps Jack. You've done your very first row. Yay! All that's left to do is move the needle, the stitches to your left hand, the empty one to your right hand, and start all over again. And I forgot to mention this while I was originally filming, but if you keep doing the knit stitch over and over and over again, row after row after row, you will have a pretty cool looking project. I do wanna talk about common mistakes in another video and how to manage them. But I think it's really important to understand that it's okay if you make mistakes. It doesn't mean that you're a bad knitter. It just means that you're learning. I've been knitting for, I don't know, five or six years, and I still make tons of mistakes. Ask any seasoned knitter, even if they've been knitting for 50 years, they still make mistakes. It's okay if you've only been knitting for one week and you find yourself making a lot of mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you are having a lot of trouble and you can't figure it out, you are more than welcome to comment on this video and ask for help. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful video to teach you the knit stitch. Just like in the cast on video, you are free and welcome to use this video however you need. Rewatching the parts that you need extra support in and pausing and slowing down where you need that too. This video's question is, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? I think I'd like the superpower of convenient helpfulness, where I just happen to be in the right place in the right time when someone needs it. So what would you like your superpower to be? Feel free to share in the comments below. I'll see you soon.